Hi everyone, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am super excited to share this information with you because I think back sleeping is one of the absolute best things we ladies can do for our skin. It's a wonderful way to not press those wrinkles into our face all night long, eight hours of wrinkle pressing as we sleep. I really think that one of the best things we can do for ourselves is to learn to be back sleepers. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you a wonderful new pillow from the Sleep and Glow people. And they did send it to me to partner with me on this video. And I'm so excited to show you their new pillow because it is basically a way to train yourself to be a back sleeper. Because I know a lot of you ladies, you've told me in the comment section that you would love to do that, but you're just not sure how to do it. Or, you know, you try to sleep on your back and you end up, you know, on your side or on your tummy. And it is very hard to to do if you're not used to it. But before I get into that, I wanted to show you a wonderful new cup that I got. And this is my Caramel Green Mountain Keurig coffee, which I love. But look at this. I got this at Christmas from a girlfriend. And these are actually the three of us. And I don't know where Colette got this, but thank you, Colette, so much. There is Christy, Colette, and Beth. And there you can see Beth. She's got a little big butt there. There she is. And then on this side, it says something funny. It says, we'll be friends until we're old and senile. Then we'll be new best friends. <laughs> so I think that is so cute. And it is so appropriate for us 60 plus year olds. But I love it that they got that for me. Okay, yummy. Love that cured coffee. Okay, let's get down to business. And the business is getting serious about combating wrinkles and sags on one's face. And I really think that becoming a back sleeper is one of the best things you can do. First, I'll show you the sleeping glow pillow I have been sleeping on up until now. And actually, I still sleep on it. I actually use both of the pillows I'm going to be showing you every night. This is the Sleep and Glow pillow. It's called Omni. Yes, it's called Omni. And this is a great pillow if you're pretty much already a back sleeper. You can put your head in here and it is so comfortable. You just put your head in that little divot there and then mostly you're a back sleeper. But then if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can turn over on your side here. And as you can see, this pillow supports your forehead and your chin. And although I'm putting all my weight on there, as you can see, I'm getting no wrinkles in my face. And imagine with a normal pillow how you are pressing wrinkles into your face all night long. These nasal folds are, are getting pressed more into your face. The under eye wrinkles are getting worse. It is just really hard on your face to spend eight hours pressing those wrinkles into your face. But that is what I have been using up until now. And in fact, again, as I mentioned, I do use this. I go to bed on this to start with. And then half the time I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I will use this new pillow that they sent me, which is called the Aula pillow. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's A-U-L-A. -A. This is an absolutely fabulous pillow for those of you who haven't mastered the art of sleeping on your back yet. It's got a little bump down here and that goes under the back of your neck and you just put it under your head. And then as you can see, both sides of this are beautifully soft, smooth, comfy little clouds that basically cradle both sides of your head all night long and it keeps you from turning over on your side. So this is a wonderful trainer pillow if you're not yet a back sleeper and I absolutely love this. And I will sleep on this even though I am a good back sleeper by now. Sometimes I'll wake up at two or three o'clock in the morning on the other pillow and I'll just want something that feels a little bit different and so I'll start sleeping on this and I really love the feel of these two bumps because they just totally support the sides of your head. Absolutely love this. And so for just a few minutes, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what happens to you if you're not sleeping on your back, if you're scrunching your face on your side. You can see right there, but here's a good picture here. As you can see, this one lady, she's a beautiful lady, but she's sleeping on the pillow and so it's smushing her face. And they put glass under her so you could really see the effect of what that smushed pillow is doing on her skin. And basically what it is, it is giving her huge wrinkles around her eyes. It is really giving wrinkles even on the sides of her nose. And it's really deepening the nasal labial folds. And I think this is so interesting. And I've shared this with you before. The reason that I got interested in becoming a back sleeper, which I did about three years ago, is when I first started sleeping on my back. And many of you know this story, but I saw my father-in-law and he had this hugely deep wrinkle that was up and down vertically, up and down on his forehead. And for the longest time I thought, 
why does Don have that wrinkle? I mean, we do not smile and our forehead goes together like that. Why does he have that wrinkle? And then all of a sudden, one day it dawned on me, oh, I know why he has that wrinkle. He must sleep on his right side and that is pressing that long vertical wrinkle into his head. And actually that is exactly what happens because we have two kinds of wrinkles as we age and we can't avoid them. But the first is expression wrinkles. And as you can see in the left picture, you can see the expression wrinkles that is like when we lift our forehead, we're going to get vertical wrinkles along our forehead. We're going to get those little lines under our eyes and in our 11s. We're also going to get some nasal folds and, and also we'll get some smile wrinkles on the sides of our mouth, maybe some chin wrinkles. But mostly those expression wrinkles are not up and down, they are side to side. But if you're getting vertical wrinkles, and you can tell this by looking at yourself in the mirror if you're actually getting sleep wrinkles, if you're getting vertical wrinkles, there are no expressions that produce the vertical wrinkles. Here we go. See, it says here sleep wrinkles are caused by repetitive facial skin compression while sleeping on your side or your stomach. And as you can see in this example, the model has vertical wrinkles on her forehead and the sides of her eyes. She does have eye wrinkles because as you can remember from that earlier picture, when we sleep on our side, our eyes get more wrinkles. She's got vertical wrinkles around her mouth and in her jowl area. And again, you can tell if you've got the sleep wrinkle problem already by looking at your face, you know, maybe going like this and seeing if you get the up and down vertical wrinkles. And I will say that those wrinkles get deeper and deeper pressed in over the years. If you're still young, you have plenty of time to start sleeping on your back and hopefully never getting those vertical sleep wrinkles. And I will say that if you already have them, through stopping that behavior, through learning to be a back sleeper and just letting your skin rest in a beautiful way all night long, those wrinkles slowly will get less and less and less until they're almost hardly noticeable. Now again, let me show you the two pillows which are available from Sleep and Glow. The first is the Omnia pillow, which is on the left-hand side there, and that is the one that does allow you to sleep on your side if you would like. And the second is the newest one called the Ala pillow, and it does come with a pillowcase, a natural fiber pillowcase. But that pillow, the second one, is the pillow designed to help you learn to sleep on your back, to learn to be a back sleeper, and the reviews are wonderful about this pillow. Jennifer says, in the 10 weeks I've owned this pillow, it has helped me to start sleeping on my back and has eliminated my neck cramps and back stiffness. I thought I needed to buy a new mattress to solve my problems, but it turns out I just needed to buy this pillow. So in addition to help with wrinkles, it also does help if you've got stiff neck, something like that, problems with your upper back. But here's another review that addresses the wrinkles, which of course I think is pretty important. Cheryl King says, I'm so happy I purchased this pillow. When I wake up, I go straight to the mirror and I'm elated to see no new wrinkles on my face. I love the support it gives my neck. I did hesitate to make the purchase because of the price, but I'm so glad I did. I'm very pleased with my decision. I think it even helps me sleep better. And you know, Cheryl is right about the price. This pillow is a pricey little guy. In fact, both of them are exactly the same price. They're $175. But before you say, hey, I will never pay $175 for a pillow, I really don't think of this as a pillow. I think of this as kind of like one esthetician's visit. Because as you know, those of you who get Botox and fillers, you can spend $400 on getting Botox. That's I spend $450 on getting it on my forehead and in my crow's feet areas. So I spend that maybe twice a year, maybe sometimes three times a year. And certainly if you get fillers, they're even more expensive. Whereas this pillow is $175, and it is a natural way to reduce the wrinkles you may already have on your face and also to keep some wrinkles from forming in the first place. This pillow truly represents beauty sleep and they say this pillow lasts about five years so you're spending $175 for five years versus they said fillers would be like $7,500 for five years. And quite honestly, between $175 and $7,500, I think I would just get the pillow and learn to be a back sleeper. And some of you under the video will invariably say, Beth, you always talk about the benefits of sleeping on your back, but do you really like that pillow? Would you really buy it? And my answer is absolutely I would, because I think one of the absolute best things we can do for ourselves, other than wear sunblock, is to sleep on our back every single night because look how beautifully you are keeping your skin when you're just lying there like this. You're not pressing anything into your face. 
versus sleeping on either of your sides, you're getting these little vertical wrinkles, your mouth wrinkles are getting worse, your eye wrinkles are getting worse. It is just not a good benefit to your skin at all. And some of the benefits of the Beauty Sleep All Up Pillow are number one, it teaches you to sleep on your back, which is for sure. Number two, it says skin youthfulness helps avoid sleep wrinkles on face and neck. And it also says it cuts down on puffiness because the neck and head are in the correct position and basically your eyes aren't getting a lot of fluid because they're nicely supported and things are draining down in your eyes. And it says full relaxation, lateral support allows you to relax while sleeping on your back. And I really love that feeling because when you put that pillow under you and you just sink back and you just feel just a little bit on the side of those puffy clouds, it feels absolutely like super wonderful relaxation. It's truly great. Five, it has an orthopedic effect. It was developed in conjunction with orthopedists and it maintains your physiological body position during sleep, which is always good. And number six, it says the pillow contains silver ions and those silver ions are bacteriostatic. In other words, they tend to help you out by keeping the bacteria down. And I will say that pillow comes with a natural fiber pillowcase. However, if you'd like to add a silk pillowcase, you can do that. I believe they have them on the website. However, quite honestly, they're a little bit pricey on their website. And as a matter of fact, I got a pillowcase from Amazon for this pillow. Normally it has a gray satin pillowcase on it. It zips in there. And I put that below a video because I'm always for helping you guys save money wherever I can. And a $65 silk pillowcase, you know, if you really want it, I suppose it would be a good buy. And I have to admit, their silk pillowcase absolutely, totally transforms to all of these little divots and stuff. So it is very, very good in that way. So if you have the extra money, it might be a good thing to get. But I just like to keep it protected, to keep the sweat off of it and that kind of thing. So I just go to Amazon and get a little silk pillowcase, but you can do whatever. I know this guy is a little bit pricey. And if you think you have to get a pillowcase from their website, you don't. But if you want to learn to be a back sleeper, I think the new Ala pillow is absolutely fabulous. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things anti-aging for us 50 plus, 60 plus beauties, then I hope you'll subscribe. And if you click that little bell and or give this video a thumbs up, that would help this video in the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I started recently reading from these Language of Letting Go cards by Melody Beatty. And they do seem a little bit long, so I don't know if they're going to really make it on my channel in any long-term way, but we'll see. Ooh, letting go of being right. Letting go of being right. Today I will realize that being myself and letting others be themselves is far more important than being right. Value and worth aren't dependent on being right, and I'm striving for love in my relationships, not superiority. I won't hide behind being right, but will just let myself be who I am. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and you know, that reminds me. I'm going out with my husband. It's Friday night here, and we're going out, which means we're going to pick up food and bring it back and probably watch some Netflix, you know, the wonderful COVID dating night. But anyway, I've been really thinking about improving my relationship with him. And I've realized that sometimes I get in that wife frame of mind where, by God, I'm going to end up being right. I'm going to have the last word over stupid stuff. And just the other day I was thinking about that and I realized, you know, would I rather be right or would I rather be happy? And you know, sometimes there are those cases where we do need to argue our point. But in most cases, things are a very little real value. And so if we can help the relationship by giving the other person a pat on the back and helping them to feel right, what does it really matter? So friends, just for today, let's remember that in our relationships, it's sometimes more important to be loving and loved than to be right. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.